Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Ultimate Abnormal Dreadnoughts Taskmaster Tuesday. We're in version 1.06, which is going to be all sorts of interesting when it comes to being able to adjust barrel length. Barrel length last time around um, gave me an incredibly high reload, and this time around that might not be what I need. The situation is that we are at a starting range of 10 kilometers with a French fleet. Well, fleet? I have yet to pick my ships. The enemy, however, will be three heavy cruisers, two lights, one DD, and 20 transports. Now, there are a few limitations. We can design our own fleet, we being Brother Monroe and Spartan Elite, and we have 25 points to do that with. You can have a battleship for 25 points, a battle cruiser for 20, a heavy cruiser for 15, a light cruiser for 10, and a DD for 5. So you can argue, you know what? I have a lot of faith in a battleship. I'm going to get one battleship, at 25 points and that'll be the only ship that I get. Or you can go a more adventurous route and go for five destroyers. And of course, any mix that you can come up with. I, for one, um, would normally take the destroyers, but I think it's a bit risky to do that because heavy cruisers versus my destroyers, probably not a great matchup. No, I'm gonna go for a battleship. The the second limitation that we have is that the maximum budget for a combined fleet, in my case one ship, is going to be 50 million. Now, ships in 1914 are lots, lots cheaper than the ships in uh, 1940. But, for example, if you want to get a veteran level crew, you're suddenly spending 8 million on crew. 9 million even. So, pick wisely. Pick very, very wisely. When it comes to range, I don't need that. I just need to complete my mission. I'm thinking, since I'm starting at short range and I'm dealing with heavy cruisers, I don't need a ton of firepower. And I would love to experiment with my ability to deal with the enemy using smaller, short guns, short barrels, which should further increase the reload. Speed, not that important. Um, let's set up the auxiliary systems first, although this does increase weight and cost... Let's see, this this saves me 200 tons. I'm not upgrading the engines today. Um, yeah, coal is fine. Do I need all the way up to Crypt 3? Because it's pretty expensive. Although, I am, of course, saving some weight. Let's go with it for now. And I can always reduce it again. Citadel. I think an armored Citadel is going to be required. The biggest thing that a heavy cruiser can have, I believe, is a 9-inch gun in this era. And a 9-inch gun at 10,000 meter range with the current setup can pen 6.3 inches of armor. But what happens if I push those all the way up to capped ballistics? That at 10,000 meters can punish uh, about 15 inches of armor. If I get closer, 7,500 meters, 18 inches of armor. I'm going to need quite a bit. Quite a bit of armor. Fortunately, I already have 120% bonus. And I have... Well, I got my Citadel spread out. It's not the all or nothing armor scheme that I've sort of grown accustomed to. Let's get the best anti flood because I might, might take a hit here and there. This is probably going to get pretty heavy. Is it? No, it's 500 tons. It's not that bad. Right, towers. We've got the advanced tower 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Long range accuracy this time around, not a concern. Money is. This one, far lighter, 28.5 base accuracy. This one, 31.5 base accuracy. So the base accuracy is not that different. Long range accuracy, damage control, aiming speed, stuff like those are different, but not so drastic that I want to really make use of it. Secondary tower, we got the rear tower 9 which gives me another 14 points of base accuracy and a lot of aiming speed, all the way down to the rear tower, which is 7 and 5. That's a pretty serious bonus for a million more. Yeah, let's do that. Funnel time. I don't have a fast ship, so one funnel can already provide all the power that I need. Oh, I'm going to need to go with... There, tall funnel too. Okay, 8,000 tons left, time for some guns. Let's go for casemates. I'm gonna go for smaller casemates, 
because I would like to get these things firing a bit faster. And if I put AP capped shells in them, then they're still going to punch through quite a bit of armor. So let's put the casemates in there. These things will need to be protected and barrel length. Sure to please. It's going to make them probably very inaccurate. No, not that bad, actually. 5,000 meter range, 3%, 2,500 meter range, 10%. Pretty good. When it comes to AP, I have the ability to punch through about 9 inches of armor. When it comes to HE, it's not going to be that much, but since we are sinking transports just as much as the heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and DD, I think using the standard uh, nose fuse should be fine. The points, by the way, I didn't mention this yet. If you get a heavy cruiser killed, you gain 8 points. A light cruiser is worth 4 points. A DD is worth 1 point. A transport... Oh, sorry, a DD is worth 3 points. A transport is worth 1 point. So the total points available are 55 points. If there is a tiebreaker, which I kind of doubt, then the fastest ship is going to be getting the prize. Now, let's deal with some cruisers. 11-inch guns... This short range should be good enough, maybe even too much. Reload is currently 66 seconds, but I can of course still adjust that. I can boost that to 30. Wow, that's a hell of a bonus. No, never mind. 43.5, 38.5. No, not that bad. But we're going to do it even better. I'm going to make these 11 inch guns short. And now my reload sits at a mere 28 seconds. That's really nice. Let's boost the crew. Aha, not that much then. Let's lower the draft. So that I can save some there. Maybe a regular crew. Still 41 million, this is fine. 50, there you go. Um, reload, 22 seconds. On an 11 inch gun? I really like that. That's really good. Okay, four weight offsets a bit high. Let's adjust that. Let's pull this thing in, reducing the size of the citadel and thereby making the ship a bit less weighty, hopefully. What else? Uh, we're gonna be engaging multiple different targets, so advanced hydraulic systems would be nice. Uh, going with TNT is gonna give me a bit less Money? Really? Shell cost? 250%? Wait a minute. Why is this cheaper? Is it because the hull weight's less? Over here I'm looking at plus 250% shell cost. Over here I'm looking at plus 300% shell cost. Yet, if I go back to Dunite, my cost increases. Maybe because I'm using less of the hull. Maybe because the hull gets cheaper and that's such a large effect that that would explain why we get such a large difference. All right, what else would I like on this ship? Propellant, two powder one. Why two powder one? Additional gun base accuracy and additional shell pen. Also, even less reload. And uh, let's see, could I put... Yeah, I could put a couple of two inches there. How big is the gun that you can put up there? Four? No. Probably three and two. Yep. Okay, a couple of threes and twos. Let's put a coincidence rangefinder three on there. Let's saw off 20% of the barrel here. What else? What else? What else? What else? More secondary guns. If you have to ask, you haven't been paying attention. More secondary guns. Can I install some... Mm-hmm. How do you figure that? How should I make that work? It's a bit of a weird spot. Nah, that's not quite gonna work. So we're gonna have to go with, seeing as I have casemates of five inch, maybe something a little bigger, like an eight. It's a lot of punching power. Turret rotation speed is 4.66 degrees per second. With these, it's far better. Since I'm engaging multiple different targets, let's go with a four triple. 
Please tell me both of you want to move. I said triple, actually. Triple, triple. There we go. Perfect. That hangs half over the side of the ship. Come on, at least make it look like you're trying. Put this thing on the ship. Yes, now you're catching on. Um, whoops, I just deleted something that really shouldn't be deleted. A case made gun. Now, from my limited understanding of warships, everything underneath a turret is a pretty large space reserved to supply that turret with ammunition. How exactly they do that with this gun? I'm not sure. But if they can pull it off, I'm all for it. Now, we're going to saw off some more of the barrel. Putting the reload on these four inches probably on six seconds. Uh, yeah, six and a half seconds. Good. Accuracy is going to leave quite a lot of room for improvement. But I believe we can make that work. All right, acoustics. Yes, I would like to listen to some underwater noises, especially those made by torpedoes. We're going to improve the steering. And since I am dead slow, 356 turning circle. Improve the propeller shaft, 304. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Unbalanced rudder could make it even better. 225. This should mean I don't take any torpedoes, but you never know. Can we go faster, please? 22 knots. No, we're going to stick to 20 knots because I want to invest more in my crew. I can't really make the ship smaller unless I go with a different design. No, I don't want to redo the whole ship. Um, I could reduce the crew quarters. This does mean that if somebody dies, it's going to be rather unfortunate for them and for the rest of the ship because it means less crew to man the stations. 69, yeah, that's nice, but I want 70. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Show me the Citadel. Pretty, pretty confined. Not as much as I would like, but that has to do with these 11 inches. Maybe the 11 inches are a bit much, though. Considering what I'm targeting? Essentially, the heavy cruisers are the biggest threats, I think. It's 1914. The torpedoes are going to be fairly bad, but they're short range as well. How about putting an 8 incher on here? Something that fires a bit faster. Or. Let's see, I got fives, threes, and. Four, sorry, um, yeah, five, three, eleven, and four. Let's add some more turret sizes, shall we? I mean, gotta keep life interesting for the quartermaster. He's gonna hate my guts. Eight inch gun. Capable of dealing with 15 inches of armor at 15, sorry, 5,000 meter range, which is more than what I need, probably. And they reload in 17.8 seconds. Which is a bit much, actually. It's a Mark II 8 inch gun. Crap. Go here. What sort of other secondary guns do I get? Mark III, Mark II, Mark II. Okay, we're going back to 6 inch. You sit there, you sit there. Take some of the barrel off. There. Now then. The ship is still a bit too light <laughs> for what I need. Um, let's put some armor on, shall we? Aft belt a bit more. The deck is not going to be that important, I feel. Because at this range, plunging fire is not that likely to happen. Superstructure, definitely more important. Four and a half inches of armor should give at least the light cruisers and the heavy cruisers quite a run for their money. Oh, ship, I'm too heavy. No, I'm over budget. 14 inches of main belt armor. Quite a lot. Make it 13. And make the internal deck, no, the internal belt. That is, if something penetrates the outer belt, the inner belt is going to be the next level of protection. There. I get five? Yes, I can get five. Okay. Bait four heavy, this ship. If I could fix that, that'd be lovely, but I kind of doubt I will. 2.4. If I put another two incher somewhere on the back, like here. No. 
<laughs> there. Balance in all things. As it should be. Just make sure you saw off the barrels. Okay, the quartermaster is going to hate my guts even more. We get 2-inch guns, 3-inch guns, 4-inch guns, 4-inch guns in casemates, 6-inch guns, 11-inch guns. Shortly said we have a lot of guns and they all have a far lower barrel length. Let's take out the Kuron and take out some enemies. Let's see what sort of contraptions the AI has designed for me today. Uh, that's a lot of guns you got there. Are you sure you're a heavy cruiser? They get nine 8.6 inch guns in triples, six single 8.6 inch guns, 12 5.6 inch guns, two 4.2 inch guns, two 3 inch guns, and four, no, make that 12 5.1 inch guns. And I thought I had terrible calibers. Holy crap, this thing's even worse. And your lights? Your lights are a bit more reasonable. Nine 4.3 inch guns, a couple of 2.4 and 3s. Range to the target is 11 clicks. I feel that the heavy cruisers with that amount of firepower should definitely be my main target. That is a bit much. Accuracy, 1%. That's a bit low. Now, I have quite a lot of armor on the superstructure, so ideally, all of the shells from the heavy cruisers and the light cruisers just ricochet harmlessly off of my superstructure, and it appears to be working. There you go. Damage to your main tower, or sorry, secondary tower. Now, this is very much a tailor-made ship for this task. I would probably not bring something like this into a campaign. It's most likely going to be too slow to do actual merchant raiding. It's undergunned to deal with enemy battleships. Um, dealing with heavy cruisers and light cruisers, it can probably do fairly well. But it's still not really something I would really want to put to the test. Reload. 19.8 seconds on an 11 inch gun. That's really nice. The 6 inch gun, 11 seconds. And then we get 5.7, 6.3. Oh, this is a single casement. This is a triple 4 inch gun. And then we get uh, just 2.4 seconds and finally 3.6 because it's a dual barrel 2 inch gun. Okay, light cruiser mains with torpedoes ranging. A mere 7.2, but that means I am within range. But I'm sailing away, so I'm not that likely to be at risk. Famous last words. Many bulkheads, spacious quarters. The crew might like these dips. Uh, my accuracy is pretty shit. Also, for some reason, we're firing high explosive at this target. Are you that poorly armored? No, you're not. Main guns. AP, please. Ah. The transports. Let's go there, shall we? That's easy kills. Easy points, easy targets. Finally, we're starting to get some damage on the mains. The mains torpedo tubes. Port and starboard. One tube each. Put the ship in a turn. Still gradually going towards that convoy. That's where I want to end up. That's not very accurate. Torpedo has been launched. Now, normally I would just immediately change course and wait for the torpedo to be spotted, but torpedoes in this patch are supposedly a lot more unpredictable. There's the torp. What I mean is that you never quite know with these torpedoes if they're going to go where you're aiming them. That's one factor. The other factor is, even if they do go where you aim them, they might not make it there. Because they will explode halfway through, because they're a dud. Or, well, that's another part, if they are actually going to go where you want them to go, and they hit the target that you want them to hit, they can still explode on the target and do no damage. Or, well, they can hit the target but do no damage because they're a dud. They won't go off. Okay, can we at least grill one light cruiser, please? 
I would be much, much inclined if we could at least kill one light cruiser. Frankfurt has also thrown some torps my way. There you go. Over pen. Destroyed secondary tower. Full pen. Don't torpedo me, please. I very much like my torpedoes. On my ship. No, 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 no. We, we just went over this. Don't torp me. Art starboard. There's your torpedo. And these were fast torps, right? No, not that fast. Whoa, did you see that? That thing just went from there, turned, and is now heading away from my ship. See, these are the torpedoes I like. If my own torpedoes do that, you're going to hear me swear quite a bit. Here, let's see if we can get that again. So this guy sails in a fairly straight line. This torp, where are you going to go? Are you going to do something stupid? Like these torpedoes have intelligence, they don't. No. This torpedo seems to be behaving fairly well. I'm almost out of AP shells. Yes, the one thing I did not adjust was the type and amount of shells. Uh, HE then. Because I still have heavy cruisers to sink and I don't have a lot of AP shells to do it with. As opposed to these guys which have shells till the end of the world. Loads and loads of 8-inch shells available. Now, it feels like I'm doing quite a lot of damage to the main, but she's just not sinking. She's already taken 3.7k? Maybe draw your own conclusions and sink. How about that? I'm going to set this to save ammo, because the rate at which I'm spending ammunition, I will not have enough to deal with that ship. Well, with those ships, actually. Hmm. Increase back to flank. We're going to go after the transports first. Surefire where to get, at least get some points. This target seems to be burning up quite a bit. No further torpedo threat. And they have an engine out of commission. They have some flooding. They're probably not going to be quick. Top speed, 35 knots, though. In 1914, that's a hell of a lot of speed. Oh, wow. All the transports are shooting back. How dare you? I mean, your 4-inch gun is not that threatening. Because it cannot pen me anywhere. But I still don't really appreciate it. Okay, switch fire. I think Ariadne is going to flood. Let's give it some transports. Mainz is still trying to follow Frankfurt, but is having a hard time with it. The one ship I haven't spotted yet is their... Destroyer? No. Where is their destroyer? I really do not want to get jumped. I don't want to destroy her just to leap out of a smoke screen and go, ha ha, here's a full spread of torpedoes. Which might not turn out to be duds. How are the six inch guns doing? We've got plenty of ammo here. I want all the secondaries to fire HE so I can save the AP for the cruisers. Short range, I'm thinking two and a half to five, I can deal quite a lot of damage to their heavy cruisers. And with my level of armor, I should be able to at least sustain hits from the heavy cruisers as well. The heavy cruisers, which are doing a very poor job escorting their main protectees, the convoy. Flooding. Yeah, I think you're done. Means Kuron can continue. Her murderous duties. Where's your DD? Anybody see a random smoke screen? That's a light cruiser. That's the other light cruiser. Their heavies, I believe, are somewhere over there. Where are your DDs? I'm sure you want to hit that. Not this. I think this makes more sense. 
All right, I'll be back with you guys after I have eliminated the convoy because sinking transport ships is fairly boring to watch. Right, after sinking 20 transports, I now have to find the rest of the enemy. I have no idea where they went. Um, they have been spotted southeast. They haven't really made an effort in pursuing me, and considering their light cruisers can do 35 knots, that means they could be anywhere. Fortunately, <laughs> so long as the others don't complete the mission, I have eight and a half hours to find my targets. The bad news, I carry 16 AP shells, and I have a limited speed of 20 knots normally and 19 knots now, but hey-ho, there's Frankfurt. Where's your buddy? Your buddy's 20 clicks out. Shame on you for leaving your friend behind like that. Now I'm going to head directly for the Frankfurt and I'm going to target it and quickly eliminate it. I know she still has two torpedoes left, but I'm not so sure she can make those things work. Chance to pen is going up nicely. I know I still have HE selected. In this case, it's not that required anymore. Ah, look who decided to show up. The Michelle. Michelle, how, dam how much damage can you do? None. Cool. Let's go. How much can you pen at short range? 21 inches of armor. 21.5. That means that my main belt is going to be completely invulnerable. Not so for my fore and aft belt. Those will suffer. Those will suffer. Okay, that's fine. 13 clicks out. I still have no idea where the destroyer's been hiding. I haven't seen it. It's not really tried to torpedo me. It's not fired a shot at me yet, I think. So finding that little bugger is going to be all sorts of annoying. The only thing I can actually hope for is that it will just come for me. Let's see. The other 8.6 also 21.5. This is 17. 12 and a half. This is worse. Oh, these are fast. 55 and a half knots. And here, 8.9. Have you torped me yet? You have. Let's go. Let's go. There's the torpedo. I don't like the way that this is going. Oh, we're fine. Kuran managed to get out of the way. Four and a half clicks out. Let's get it more than 1% accuracy, shall we? This is a bit lackluster. Heavy cruiser still cannot do anything at this range. There's the heavily damaged main. Mines? I'm not sure how the Germans would pronounce that. Frankfurt. Stop that. Stop delivering Frankfurters everywhere. Oh, your torpedo detonated. That's nice. Main guns. 45% accuracy. Now we're getting somewhere. Boom. Flooding. I still need the mains to do damage against something other than light cruisers. But for now, it seems to be a pretty quick way of getting at least rid of this light cruiser. Come on. Boom. 117 damage. These lights were pretty heavily armored for a light cruiser. I mean, I've seen uh, light cruisers in 1940 which had less armor than that. Can you damage me? No. At least not very well. The ship has been fired at almost 9,500 times. 372 have hit. Almost all of those were partial pens. Against 17 inches of armor. So, efficacy, extremely low. Uh, switch the main guns to off. And just let the secondaries try and blast away through this thing. I hope. Hey! You're here! Hello. Are you a submarine? No, you're a destroyer. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. That's a lot of torpedoes, in fact. Reloads. Pretty slow. 832 seconds, 554 seconds. So these are the most dangerous ones. They carry a lot of those. Increased torpedo complement. Ideally, I would hit the destroyer and blow the torpedo tubes up. Because supposedly, that now causes damage to the ship. And I would love to actually see that. So, let's get rid of the light cruiser. Uh, you are 2.8 away. Are you guys deadly yet? 
No. Cool. Very good, very good, very good. My gunners are very bad at hitting something two and a half kilometers away. These things reload fast, but their accuracy is absolutely shit. It very much is a bit of a sawn-off shotgun, this battleship. And, well, I don't really have the speed to get into range quickly. That's the challenge here. The other challenge is dodging torpedoes from the mains. Accuracy is now 14%. Yeah, I really have to get close. Right in their face close. Wow, even that was a partial pen. Okay. Switch fire to the mains. That's more like it. I am very uninterested in getting hit by a torpedo here. You have the range. I'm not sure which torpedo tube is still functional. Both? Possibly? Hard to tell. Um... Yeah, I was hoping to kill the mains, but I can barely pen it. Crap. Okay. Approach the Frankfurt and prepare to board. Because just killing her crew seems to be the only way I can actually get anything done these days. Speaking of losing crew... Maybe not board her, because... <laughs> they have 309 crew members and I only have 491 left. I've been losing a lot of crew throughout this encounter. Come on! Half a kilometer! Make something work, destroy torpedo. You're a bit late with that. Come on! Crap, here comes the mains again. Don't need you. I'm struggling enough to deal with the light cruiser. Just imagine how much of a struggle the heavy cruiser are gonna be. Do these carry torps? Shit, they do. What a slugfest. Fuck, now I have to be turning in. I'm committed now. Get the mains on the... well, mains. And pray that it doesn't torpedo you. <laughs> what do you mean, close quarters? <laughs> Look at this. Hello. Don't mind me. 100 meters out. Don't torp me, please. I just want to exist. I would like you to cease to exist. Partial pens only. With many bulkheads, these things are hard to flood. Oh fuck, if it's their starboard launcher, I'm in even worse trouble. Oh no. All the guns, all the guns, all the guns. Don't torp me, please. Six point three thousand damage on a light cruiser. What the hell? Almost the entire ship's on fire now, but it's still not enough to sink her. Are you guys dangerous yet? Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Could you finally sink? That was a pretty big hit. Thank you. One light cruiser down. That was a lot of effort for four points. That's better. Partial pen only. More partial pens. Full pen. Frankfurt's out of torpedoes, but Saxony and Michel are not. Come on, Frankfurt. Let's call it a day. Oh! Have you been busy? You have, haven't you? Go on. Eliminate this glide cruiser before I switch my attention over to the destroyer. Because this destroyer is starting to bother me a bit too much. 
Unfortunately, these heavies are not actually using their torpedoes yet. This thing seems to burn up. Yep. Go on. Okay. Switch to that. No, not with the mains. Put the main guns on the heavy cruiser, please. Just make sure you hit something. Come on, eliminate the DD, because this thing is going to torp us again. And my rudder has been damaged. Oh shit, that's also going to torp us. Oh boy. Destroyed main gun. Already? I barely touched you. Oh shit. Go on, turn. Turn! That's one speedy boy. Turn! Yes! This is going to take forever. Yeah, count me out for the time trial. Save ammo on the main guns. I'm going to need to use those later. There you go. Partial pens. Apparently even the destroyer is hard to pen. Like, really hard to pen. Holy shit, that's a heavily armored destroyer. They maxed out the armor on the entire ship. Except for the turrets. I'm not sure if I can pull this off, guys. It's going to get really rough. Torp away from that. Torp away from the Prince Adelbert. Yeah, we're going to just put the ship in a spin again. The 6-inch guns are running a little low on high explosive ammo. The 5-inchers, fortunately, are not. Come on, hit them! This thing is way too dangerous to approach. Well, I guess this ah concludes the trial for maybe not use a ship that only has short barrels because you'll just not hit anything. Oh, that one exploded. This one's also going to explode on my hull. Ow. Oh, fuck. There's more. I don't like where this is going. Michelle's coming in very aggressively. Auto selector normal. AP shells, please. Another torpedo inbound. Three floodings, one torpedo hit. Oh shit, these are firing fast torps. Whoop! Blood armor, that thing just changed course. Gotta love blood armor. Blocked? What? This range, two and a half kilometers. We can pen 27 inches of armor. What do you mean blocked? How much armor do you have? Seven inches at 120%. Not good enough. Wee plot armor. <laughs> oh, man. You really cannot rely on these torpedoes. Let's see what the others are going to do. I think I'm going to be dead soon, though. This one changed. Change direction. This thing. Please. Yep. Plot armor. What the hell? I'm just getting torpedo spammed by everybody. But either by being constantly turning... Well, not either. It's the combinations. I'm constantly turning, making their torpedo attempts very difficult. And at the same time, their torpedoes are utterly unreliable. Constantly changing direction. Oh, crap. That's problematic. Please do something stupid. Just explode. Would be nice. Would be very nice. Plot armor. Please? No. No. Ow. That appeared to do a lot of damage. Do your torpedoes do more damage? 19 inch. Uh oh. 19 inch. Your torpedoes do not do more damage. Kron's blood armor is still holding. Somehow. And with killing 20 transports and two light crews, I've at least scored 28 points. So I got something. 
but my crew has lost... Well, I've lost almost half my crew. My accuracy is right down the toilet. My guns are not really being manned anymore. My ship is constantly flooding. And my ability to hit the enemy has been seriously damaged. I mean, 0.1% is not really going to cut it. 2% buoyancy. Yeah, this is the end of the Kuron. So, that's 28 points for me. Let's see how well the other guys have done, and what sort of ship combinations they've come up with. Linked down below are their attempts. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.